Howdy y'all, welcome into the channel. So today we're taking a look at the 25 ACP. These tiny little pocket pistols were widely and commonly carried for about 65, 70 years before they fell out of favor, kind of in the late 70s. And I wanted to see how effective 25 ACP actually would be as a modern pocket pistol. Now, of course, it beats a sharp stick, but I wanted to pit this up against some of the modern rimfire ammo and just see how it performs. So let's take a look at these results. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a little ballistics test. We're gonna be testing 22 short, long Magnum, 25 ACP, and maybe a 380 or so. So we're gonna get started here. I just wanna kinda of wanna compare 25 ACP to all the rimfire cartridges, and then we'll see what a little more substantial 380 does. So we're gonna start off here with 22 short. Right, taking a quick look at the 22 short here, it went in about six and a half, maybe seven inches, and kind of veered off out of the side. But it went further than I thought, and it actually did a little more damage than I thought. I was I was actually impressed by the 22 short. So next, we're going to try a little 20, 22 long rifle using the um, 29 grain Federal Punch. Let's see what that does. The whole video is kind of a cluster because I ordered the wrong size block, and I couldn't find any 25 ACP hollow points because. Hornady and Spear, I think, are the only ones that make them anymore, and both are out of stock everywhere I look. So, not a super fair test. We're going to be using Full Metal Jacket 25 ACP. Wow. All right, so you see here, this one went all the way through. Pretty good expansion. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hell of a lot of difference between the short and that Federal Punch long rifle. So let's do a 22 mag now. All right, so that was the 22 uh, mag Hornady VMAX 30 grain. And the that really impressed me. Out of a two inch barrel, went all the way through, created a pretty good size channel there, pretty good wound cavity. Out the other side, of course, being a nine inch block but I was impressed with the uh, destruction that the 22 mag did to this ballistic block. I would not want to be on the other end of that for sure. All right, we got our little 25 ACP here. Let's see what that does. All right, taking a look at the 25 ACP here. It went in, it went all the way through. It just penciled right through it. Not much of a wound cavity but it did go all the way through and also wouldn't want to be on the end of that. All right, we're going to see here what a 380 hollow point will do out of the LCP Max here. Let's see where I need to go to be able to see that up top. Now this is a Winchester hollow point 380 went in only about six and a half inches or so. I uh, was kind of disappointed with the penetration on that, but it did do a lot of destruction. It expanded really, really well. So good expansion, lacking on the penetration. All right, so taking a look at this ballistic block here, we did some pretty good damage to this. Unfortunately, I didn't realize my GoPro had overheated and shut off that I had set up on the side of this. So I didn't really get the footage I wanted to to show you. You can see here this channel was the 22 short which penetrated looks like about seven inches actually I'm surprised but didn't create much of a uh, wound channel or a cavity there. Uh, 22 mag did the most damage all the way through which was pretty cool. Uh, 380 I was really surprised 380 only went in about seven inches, which is a little um, kind of concerning, but the expansion on it was really nice. So let's see if we can get this out of here. And there we go. There's our 380. All right, friends, so wrapping up on the 25 ACP ballistic gel test. 
I would say that I probably wouldn't carry this except maybe as a backup gun or something. It's really hard to find 25 ACP hollow points and it it just 380 micro 380s are not much bigger than than this little Colt. There is significantly more knockdown power out of the 380 over the 25, but it is a cool little gun and I just wanted to test it out and this was fun for me. So, another ballistic test possibly coming up in the future. I Speaking of 22, would like to test all the self-defense ammo that has come out over the last four or five years for 22. The Winchester Silver Tip Federal Punch. We'll throw some CCI stingers and whatnot in there. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to do the video anyway, but it is nice to know if you actually want to see it. And that may actually speed up me buying the block and getting the right block this time. So if you want to see that, let me know. You know what to do with all the buttons down there. You know, if you, I'm not going to beat you over the head with that. And if you want to support the channel, a great way to do it is my campsite page. I post affiliate links there, some products, some deals. I try to kind of gather deals for y'all. So if you're going to buy it anyway, if, if you feel like supporting the channel, go there, check out the links first. Also, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you want to use those links, that helps the channel. If you don't, no worries. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it does help me buy ammo and you know, firearms, things like that. But if you want to support me, that's a good way to do it. it. doesn't cost you anything. Appreciate each and every one of you watching, and I will see you next time I make a video. Y'all stay safe out there.